Hi and welcome to my channel Today is gonna be a little bit different Because we're gonna try out this gouache Instead of watercolor this time These are actually my friends And she asked me to review this Although I know that she knows I am really bad at gouache So it's um extra fine gouache from Sennelier We have three primary color and one white So yeah Let's try it out I'm using this flip palette I already made the labels Now I'm putting down the colors The first one is permanent white The second one is cadmium yellow And the third one is cadmium red I think it's a little bit more watery this red And the last one is ultramarine blue Well, we have a bit of problem here because it's not paint, it's binder I clean it up, try to squish this again Steel binder Hopefully this one is paints Oh, steel binder Clean it up, trying again Okay, this time it's paint So if this is happening to your paints It happened because the binder and the pigment are separating Maybe because of the storage, but it's not a big problem Okay, now let's move to my swatch book I've prepared this template before And as the title said, this is my very first time reviewing gouache So I'm pretty sure I will make mistakes here Anyway, let's start with the swatch Now we're doing the first color, the permanent white Just filling in the box And the color is quite opaque But not too much, we can still see the black line Honestly, I don't know if this is a good thing or not The second color is cadmium yellow And I think this one is like more creamy than the permanent white Again, maybe it's because of the storage or something And the color are opaque but not too much, we can still see the black line Moving on to cadmium red I think the consistency of this red is quite the same with the permanent white Like it's thicker and yeah i'm gonna need more water on this but the color doesn't really change that much and the opacity is still the same we can still see the black line but it's opaque last is ultramarine blue this one is a little bit more watery than the others maybe it's because there are too much binder on the top of the paint but don't worry because the rest of it will be just fine okay next we're gonna do the blending i'm putting down this yellow over here then putting down the red just next to it And then with damp brush, I try to blend it out I think I'm trying too hard to blend it out It was fine at the beginning and now it's just ended up like this So here I am trying to fix it Hopefully I didn't do too much damage here Okay, now I'm adding the blue here and still trying to blend them up And yeah, honestly, I don't know why I did that And I'm still trying to fix it again Oh my god, I am really bad with gouache Okay, to be honest, this paint is really good It's really soft, it's really smooth But yeah, it's just me, I'm not good with gouache Okay, now I'm adding white here Trying to blend them up I'm trying to make a smooth transition between the red and the blue Using white in between And I don't know why but I think I'm, I, I will just keep screwing this up And now I'm adding yellow here to make another transition between red and yellow And yeah, it doesn't really look good Anyway, I'm adding blue here Let's see the green Still bad transition, but yeah, that's on me Okay, this one is a glazing task Where we're gonna do the regular glazing And this blend glaze is just smashing up two colors together Let's do the first layer And this is my big problem with gouache The first layer has to be thinner than the second layer And it's quite hard for me to find the right consistency for this but here I'm trying my best I add water Then put um, vertical lines here Now we're already on the third color This one is cadmium red Just like before, I add some water and put it in a vertical line Now it's the ultramarine blue It's already so thin because of the binder so... 
I just add a little water here. Anyway, now it's the plain glaze part. I'm doing it backward, I think. Now it's the cadmium red again. And then the cadmium yellow. And we're going back to the permanent white here. While waiting it to dry, I just decided to fix this blending. I mean, it's it's a good one. It's really easy to be blended, actually. Again, it's just me, but at least I'm trying here. Okay, I think it looks kind of better now. Before we're doing the second layer, I just want to show you this. You can see that the blue is a little bit glossy and it's because too much binder on this and it also could happen to your watercolor. But again, it's not a big problem. Now let's do the second layer of this glazing. I try to make the second layer is more, you know, thicker than the first layer. And here we go. And why did I do that? It's lifting up the colors behind it. So let's try again and it's still lifting up. Okay, next with the yellow, I'm gonna try to do it like this. Um, yeah. I think it's still lifting up a bit, but let's try it again. Yeah, it's lifting up. Now let's do the red. Okay, it's only lifting up the blue. Now let's try the ultramarine blue. I think this one glazed even better than the others. Okay, next to the blend glaze, here is what I'm doing. I just take the color and rub it into the color behind it to see if they can still like mix up together, create the secondary colors. You can see that I add white here and the colors just look brighter than before. And I'm adding the cadmium yellow. I think it won't make too much difference with this white and yellow. Let's see how it's doing on red. Yeah, it's become orange-ish. And let's see if we can make green over here. Yeah, it, it looks green. Okay, next one, we're gonna do the red. There will be not much different on top of white and red here. Let's see if we can still make orange here. Yeah, I don't think it's orange. Now let's see if we can make purple. And yay, it's purple! And the last one is blue. On top of blue and white first. Now let's see no green and no purple here so anyway um i'm writing down the color's name here so i'm writing on top of the paint and it's kind of feel soft maybe because of the paints or something the ink also looks glossy here so okay here's the up close result of this task the swatch the blending and the glazing I'm still not happy with this blending, but yeah. And for the glazing, I think the blue on top is the only one that glazed nicely. But it doesn't really work the other way around. We can see the blue on behind is lifting up a lot. Even with the red, it only lifting up the blue but not with the other colors. Meanwhile, the yellow lifting up both the red and the blue. And this is where I scrubbing up the colors. The white makes uh, the colors are lighter here. And with yellow on top, we can make this two secondary colors. But it doesn't really work the other way around. And also with this green, it only works with uh, the yellow on top. But not with the blue on top. Also, the purple doesn't show up here. It only show up with uh, red on top. And I think the blue looks like regular glazing. Okay, in conclusion... I think it's a good gouache. They are quite pricey, but I think it's just the normal price for an um, artist grade gouache. And for my dear friend, I'm happily tell you that this is a good one, but I'm still suck at gouache. So yeah. Okay, that's it for now. You can find more information about this on the description box below. And if you have any question or anything, just let me know in the comment section. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye!